what's happening guys hold on <laughs> headphones on what's up everyone welcome back to the channel hope you're doing good hope you're feeling well thank you so much for being here on this lovely day all right a little secret because a lot of times i i record and then i like you know move the videos around in the schedule i kind of mess with the schedule a lot you can tell by the clothes i wear typically it's hurricane day right now <laughs> but um it's not here here just yet, but it's starting to get windy and rainy and everything. So I'm like, I'm kind of bored just sitting around. Let me just let's, let's listen to some music. So we're going to listen to Crass. Uh, we've listened to them before with So What. We're going to listen to the track Bloody Revolutions. I couldn't exactly figure out what album this was on. I have it on Best Before 1984, which is a compilation album. Then I see it here also attached as a single uh, next to the song Persons Unknown, released in 1980. So I think that it was probably just released as a single, a standalone. I don't think it was belonging to a particular album, but this is what I could find. Uh, and this has been recommended to me, along with So What From Before, by Jay Furs. So Jay, as always, thank you so much. And hey, hey, I see a lot of people every once in a while jumping on Jay Furs because he doesn't always like the music. He doesn't always enjoy the music. He's an honest person. How can you fault that? <laughs> I always say, as long as you're not insulting to to myself, uh, to anyone else. I don't care what you think of the music. I want to know what you think, whether it's good, bad, or not. And you're not going to know whether a song is good or bad if you don't listen. So anyways, shout out to Jay. Let's go ahead and get into the music. Uh, I don't even have it pulled up here. Hold on. I got to find it. I got to find it. I got to find it. I don't even have it. There it is. Okay. <laughs> I've already prepared for the hurricane, by the way. I'm just, we're just waiting now. Anyways, bloody revolutions. Let's go. Really 
nothing's changed for all the deaths of their ideas created. It's just the same fascistic games, but the rules aren't clearly stated. Nothing's really different, cause all governments the same. They can call it freedom, but slavery is the game. There's nothing that you offer, but a dream of last year's hero. The truth of revolution, brother. Brother, 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 brother. That is just pure anarchy in musical form. This is like, I don't want to say like a progressive punk because that's not at all what I mean, but I like how this has like the deep rooted rawness, dirtiness of punk, just the aggression, just a certain message that is just spat through teeth, through, through sealed lips to get out, but with a little bit of extra on the side. Like this song is six minutes long and there's a lot that's done in that six minutes. I really like the take on that theme. Da, 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 da. Right? I like how they start that off. You get kind of like distorted radio signals and communication in the beginning. Then you have later on the guitar also echoes those lines and then later on the bass. Which speaking of the basses, I don't have any names here because I couldn't find the exact album or whatever that this is from. So I, I don't have any names to use. But I really appreciate the tone that the basses takes here. It's not necessarily overly aggressive, overly punchy. It's actually a pretty... I don't want to say mellow, but there's a melodic line to his playing, and there's a thoughtfulness to the playing as well. I also love the distortion and the tone we get out of the guitar, especially when playing that theme, which it's kind of like taking that very patriotic feel, but twisting that into something a little bit more rebellious, which kind of goes along with the lyrics and the message there, which I love uh, what they're saying here. You have the marching band drums that also pushes a revolution as they're kind of talking about. They're, they're pushing this ideal, there's this idea of revolution, and then what comes after, what comes during. That's kind of important. Sometimes the beginning is what's thought of, but not the during or the after. And when confronted with certain things, well, <laughs> everything changes from there. So a really interesting song. Uh, the vocals, I didn't love them. But I didn't mind them. I didn't hate them at all. No, no, no. Very fitting for uh, the tone that the song as a whole takes. Like I said, just filled with that kind of spitting and, and through your teeth, kind of seething anger uh, and getting those ideas across. Getting into the lyrics here, which I think are, once again, really, really good. You talk about your revolution. Well, that's fine. But what are you going to be doing come the time? Are you going to be the big man with the Tommy gun? Will you talk of freedom? When the blood begins to run. Well, freedom has no value if violence is the price. Don't watch your revolution. I want anarchy and peace. So I love the lines there. You know, you want revolution. You want this. You want that. But when the blood begins to run, when the violence begins, what will you be doing? Are you, are you willing to partake? Are you shocked that this is basically what you asked for and this is what you got? And he says, well, freedom has no, no value if violence is the price. That's not the goal. Violence isn't the goal. And like he says, he wants anarchy and peace, not revolution. He wants anarchy and peace. Dissolution of government, but peace, <coughs> not war. You talk of overthrowing power with violence as your tool. You speak of liberation and when the people rule. Well, ain't it people rule right now? <laughs> what difference would there be? Just another set of bigots with their rifle sights on me. So you're just replacing people with other people. So what are you, what's your goal? I just love how he's, he's questioning these, these like motives and, and ideas. Like, I just think that's really cool the way that he does that. I'm not going to read every single line here, by the way. There's a lot of lyrics. Uh, but what about those people who don't want your new restrictions? Those that disagree with you and have their own convictions. You say that you've got it, or you say they've got it wrong because they don't agree with you. So when the revolution comes, you'll have to run them through. You see that revolution will bring freedom to us all. Well, freedom just ain't freedom with your backs against the wall. So you may start a revolution, which also revolution, you know, circle revolution, like besides the, the actual, you know, first definition of like, you know, change, it's also circular. So once you establish your power, what about the people that don't agree with you? Doesn't it all just kind of, kind of turn and turn and turn again? You know, I, I, I want to break the wheel. Isn't that what some famous leader said? 
Will you indoctrinate the masses to serve your new regime and simply do away with those whose views are too extreme? Transportation details could be left to British Rail, where Zy Zyklon B succeeded, North Sea gas will fail. It's just the same old story of man destroying man. We've got to look for other answers to the problems to this land. So that's, I think, the heart of what he's trying to say. You know, all this revolution and stuff is just going to go around and around. One people replace another people, and eventually you get the same results. So we got to find a different solution to this. We've got to find a different, uh, a different way of doing things. And then at the very end, nothing changed for all the death that their ideas created. It's just the same fascist games, but the rules aren't clearly stated. Nothing's really different because the government's the same. They can call it freedom, but slavery is the game. There's nothing you can offer but a dream of last year's hero. The truth of revolution, brother, is year zero. So their ideal, their, um, the people overthrown are now putting the last leaders kind of on a pedestal as like their icon, their symbol. Like last year's hero, that's what he said. But he says the truth of revolution is year zero before all that, when there were no leaders. <laughs> so kind of like, like I said, really digging into that anarchy theme, but anarchy and peace. So that's really good from the lyricals perspective. I did think the music was interesting. I would definitely listen to this again. It didn't necessarily like grab me immediately, but I would definitely listen to it again and listen to some more uh, from Crass. Um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. You can follow me on Twitter. You can support the channel on Patreon. You can do all of these things. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you later. Bye.